All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back with good news, sort of, I think. I don't know. I got some news anyway. Uh, knucklehead that I am. You know that I always like to tinker and play with stuff, right? Build stuff if I can or attempt to build stuff, machine stuff, whatever. I always like to play with something new. All right, so. I learned how to fix a lighter. Anyway, I... Uh, I went out and bought myself a 3D printer last week. It wasn't really a a whim, okay? I didn't do it on a whim, really. I've been thinking about buying one for years. They were super expensive, and I was like, no way am I buying something that I don't know if it's going to work, and I don't know anything about it, and I have nowhere to learn it. So I, I stay away from it. Well, the prices on these things have come way down, and I've researched the hell out of this. I mean, I've, I've worn my keyboard out typing into YouTube on this stuff, and watching videos and all this other stuff. So I found that there are a number of different I, different features you can get on a 3D printer. Uh, there's one that uses a bottom tube, it's called. It's basically like the feed has a long uh, plastic tube where the feed uh, filament goes through. They seem to have more issues where they are able to do less types of filament, different uh, less styles of filament than what it's called a direct drive printer. Uh, they're cheaper, but at this point, at this stage of the game, not that much cheaper. So I was between, I, I found a video online by a guy that was really good. Uh, he compared three printers. One of them was the one that I bought, and it was actually the biggest one he compared in the, in the three. They were two of the same name. They were made by Artillery, and there was a separate brand that I can't remember what it was because I really, from the start, wasn't interested in that printer. In any case, what ended up happening was I, I found that the bigger machine, he said that, you know, if you can get the bigger machine, you're better off. The bigger machine out of the two artilleries is 100 bucks more, so it was like $400 for the machine. Uh, he really highly recommended this thing, and I said, okay, I'm going to do it. I said to my wife, what do you think? Should I, should I buy myself something? I don't really buy myself anything. So she's like, it's $400. She's like, you deserve it. You want it, buy it. Cool. So I went out and bought it. Well, I ordered it. And it came nice and, you know, nice and packaged as well and everything. And no, I'm not going to tell you the punchline here where it's broken out of the box. The thing came really nice. It's easy to put together out of the box. It comes mostly assembled. It's like literally 95% assembled. So I get the thing together and I realize something. I realized that I can go on and I can get files, right? And I can 3D print them if they're pre-created. And I realized, dude, Joe, you don't know a damn thing about running any kind of CAD software. You never did CNC machining, stupid. Everything I do is manual. Uh, so I'm like, oh boy. Uh, oops. So I started thinking and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try something. So I go on and I start looking at this software like Fusion 360, um, you know, these different programs, SolidWorks. Uh, anyway, I start to realize quickly that these programs are, are extremely, extremely difficult for the layman, okay? It's like me asking one of, uh, one of my viewers who are not auto technicians, have never had any, have never worked on a car, never opened the hood on a car, to say, Come down here and diagnose this uh, check engine light for me. And you're, you know, you're, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, you know what? It's, it's difficult. You don't, you don't have any background. You have no training whatsoever. You've never touched this stuff. It's, it's, ooh, it's a little nerve wracking. So, of course, me, uh, I download the free version of uh, Fusion 360 and I open it up and I watch these tutorials on it. I'm like, ah, oh, this, you know what? I said to my wife, this isn't so bad. I think I could do this. Yeah, so, so my wife says to me, you can do it. You know, of course you can do it. No problem. And I'm like, yeah? She's like, yeah, of course. You know, you'll figure it out. No problem. You always figure this stuff out. And I'm like, yeah, sure I do. So I go on there and I start playing with this program. And she's like, all right, honey, I'm going to bed. And, you know, goes to sleep. It's 11 o'clock, whatever. And I'm sitting here. I'm like, yeah, I'd be in five minutes. And I'm playing with this thing. And so now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to design or reverse engineer the plate that I machined for the cart, for, the, my, for my roll cart for the scope leads. It's a small plate, about 7 inches uh, in width, and it has the holes drilled in it for the leads to connect and, you know, go through the cart. 
make it look all pretty, right? So I'm like, yeah, you know, I could do this. So I'm playing with this thing on, on Fusion, trying to design this freaking simple three-dimensional plate with holes in it in the hole. And I got the plate, believe it or not, I actually had the plate pretty well. After four hours, I think it was, it was about two o'clock in the morning. I got the plate, I was like, yeah, hey, it's straight, everything is good. And then I was like, all right, just got to put the holes in it, I'm going to bed. And all I was trying to do was put holes in this thing where they were evenly spaced an inch and a quarter apart or whatever, I think that was the measurement. And I just wanted to put the, the holes in, in the, and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated. It was like four o'clock in the morning. And I'm, I'm lucky that was a Saturday, man, because I, I would have lost my mind trying to go to work that day. I was so enveloped into this thing that I had to do it. I had to figure it out. And I had to, I'm going to do this tonight. I'm going to have this, I'm going to have this file and I'm going to, I'm going to print this file as soon as I can figure out how to get the slicer software, because that's the other stuff you got to learn. And as soon as I can figure that out, I'll, I'll get this printed and it's going to, yeah, no, that didn't work. So I gave up on it and I basically wanted to sell the 3D printer at that point. Uh, I was really, I was really upset. I was like, I'm never going to understand this. So, uh, at that point I reached out to a buddy of mine, uh, Daryl Turner is a good friend of mine. And if you're watching Daryl, you're probably not because you're too busy creating genius ideas but uh you know i was talking to him and he said to me could you send me the dimensions of what you're trying to make and i can help you and i was like yeah i could do that i was like but i really want to learn how to do this myself and he's like well that'll come in time he goes but do you want to he goes you want me to show you what i'm talking about and i was like yeah i was like sure so he's like show me the dimensions he's like take a picture of it you know the piece with the ruler next to it or something and some dimensions and i was like okay no problem so i'm feeding him the information we're on the phone talking and he goes, he goes, you, are you near your computer? And I was like, yeah. He goes, I said, what's up? He goes, I'm going to send you a file. And I was like, okay. So he shoots me a file through Messenger, and I pop it open, and the, and the freaking, he created the file. He created the image in the software in literally under 10 minutes, and um, it, was, it was perfect. It was flawless, and it was just what I designed, um, and I was just, like, floored. So what I did was I started playing with, when you get 3D printers, you get to, uh, you know, guys like to test them. So what I did was I downloaded some files off Thingiverse. And I, uh, they're little tiny items. They're small stuff. I don't even have them with me right now. I'd show them to you. But uh, one is a little boat. I think they call it a Benchy. And uh, one is a block that actually comes with the software that's on the machine. And you could download a bunch of stuff. So anyway... I, I try the block first, I print that, it comes out pretty nice. I, first I leveled the table, of course. I did read the instructions somewhat. Uh, I got the table, table nice and level. Probably went overkill on that, but it turned out good. So I did the block, a little tiny cube with the uh, artillery design molded into it. It looked good. I was like, alright, that's not bad for the first time out here with really cheap filament too, mind you. Which Daryl warned me about, buy good filament. Uh, but this machine seems to work on it, uh, do it pretty well. So I'll show you something in a minute. In any case, uh, I get that done. I get that printed out. I'm, wow, like I made something. <laughs> you know, wow, like I got a block in my hand. Wow, look at that. Amazing the things that fascinates me. Um, so, of course, at that point, I'm like, well, hell, I want to download something else and try it. So I download this Benchy, the little boat. And I, you know, set the printer back up and file. And I figured out the slicer software, kind of. And I put it in. I really didn't mess with settings or anything. I don't know enough about it at this point yet to do that. But I wanted to just see where the machine sits out of the box. So I, I throw the, saw, the, the card back in and bang, start printing. I'm like, well, what I was told was make sure that the first layer sticks and doesn't lift. If that goes well and everything, everything else should kind of follow suit if the settings are right. So I'm like, okay, I didn't touch settings, so it should be good. Right, I go and do my thing online. And this thing is printing, printing, printing. I turn around before I know it, and I have a little boat. And I'm like, now I'm really excited because, I mean, hell, who doesn't get excited over finding a little tiny toy boat, man? It's just awesome. So I got a little boat, right? Now it's like 11 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. My wife's going to bed. And I'm like, she's like, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to wake up in the morning. There's going to be all kinds of crazy things in here. And I was like, oh, we'll see. She goes to sleep. I download this other thing, which is like three cats with a with a dish it's kind of a candy dish and I I wanted to try something right so you could scale the object so I didn't want it one-to-one -one. I didn't want this big dish it would have taken up pretty much my entire uh, spacing and it would have taken like 15 hours or something like that to print so 
I wanted to scale it down and see if it would print. So I did that, and I started letting it run, and I'm online, and I'm doing my stuff online like always, and uh, this thing's going and going and going and going. And I come and look at it an hour and a half later, and there's, there's a little portion of it done, and I'm like, oh, it's going to take a long time. I look at the time on the screen. Oh, boy, this ain't even close. It's like 8%, 10%. I was like, oh, this is going to be a while. So I go to bed, let it run, and uh, I got this thing right outside of my bedroom, so, you know, God forbid it catches fire or something. I mean, I'm right here. Uh, anyway, I get it. I let it go, let it run, and... Um, my wife wakes up in the morning. She's like, honey, that thing you made is so cool. And I'm like, huh, what happened? I was like, what thing? She's like, oh, you got it. That thing you made, it's so cool. And I was like, oh, well, at least it finished it, I guess. So I get up and I go check it. And I was like, wow, this is badass, right? This, look at this thing, man. I got three cats holding a dish up. This is great. Anyway, uh, that made me very happy that it worked. So it, I come home tonight from work after working on the Corvette and uh, having some sort of success with the car. Uh, I come home and I decide that I'm going to try to print out this block that, you know, this plate that Daryl finished for me in the software. So we'll show, we'll show that to you now. If I can get it off the print bed. Oh man, and it pops right off the print bed. I just got to clean up the holes. Is that... Oh, this is free. All right, this is friggin' badass, guys. I actually didn't even look at this until I just popped it off the bed. But check that out. How freaking cool is that? Look at that. I am super excited right now. I mean, I can machine these on the on the mill. And this is exactly how I machine mine. Um, he even he even put the indentations above for the channels. Check that out. Even the indentations are in there for the um, for the color coding of the channels, so you can paint the you know the codes the colors in there, and you can paint this. Obviously, I made this out of a tan material; it's like a wood, but this can be painted black or blue or green or yellow or whatever you want to paint it, or you could obviously print it out of whatever colors you want. And uh, I like the black because then the colors show up really nice, you know, for the for the color coding. Uh, for the scope, but this freaking thing came out great. I can't believe how good this came out. It's super smooth This is unbelievable Unbelievable, so if anybody wants a volunteer uh, to teach me a CAD program and Tell me where I can get one without spending five thousand dollars a year because I can't do that because <laughs> I don't have it um, uh, Fusion 360 I think to get the good edition of it is expensive as well uh, and like I said, this is not something that I'm planning to use to make money with at this point. Although, I may start selling these to guys with scope carts because this thing actually works fantastic and it's perfect for the setup uh, to keep everything nice and safe. Uh, this, is, this is, I can't believe how this came out. In any case, I'll show you guys the, uh, the printer real fast. This is a shot here of the, uh, of the printer. Let me just lay you guys down here. I'll show you. Uh, this is the artillery uh, Sidewinder X1. So, this thing is just pretty freaking badass, man. Uh, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the machine. And you can actually see still right here where the, uh, where the piece was outlaid outlined rather and uh, see how easy it comes off the bed this machine just works incredibly well uh, if a dummy like me can use it I think anybody can do this honestly any at least if you want to go on and print parts out I don't know about the CAD software again but he got the holes in it for the rivets this is just freaking awesome man look at this Daryl if you're watching thank you brother for the help this is incredible so yeah um, I mean, just very little cleanup, and this thing is this thing is set. It's perfect. I'm very very happy. So yeah, uh, 3D printing. Uh, we're gonna see how this goes, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I thought it was really badass. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything, and uh, I don't know how much trouble I'm gonna get myself into with this machine, but it's probably gonna be fun finding out. There's a 
whole lot of stuff that you can think of to make with this. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this isn't the norm, but, uh, you know, it's something that I thought I would share with you, with you fine folks. Um, I'm really excited. I'll see you guys soon. And again, if you have any suggestions, because I know there's a whole bunch of smart people that watch my channel, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for me with these 3D printing stuff, and you can lead me in the right direction, I'll, I'm reaching out. So uh, please let me know what you think and what you can do or what, you, what your advice would be. Uh, and, you know, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. See you later.